Those of you who've been up to the north woods of Wisconsin in the summertime know how beautiful it is. Well, you know what? It's just as gorgeous in the wintertime. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski. We're going to do some ice fishing with a friend of mine, John Andrews, a local guide in the area. We got a fresh blanket of snow, a little snow flurries in the air. It's gorgeous up in the north woods. Let's go meet John. There he is, folks. This is John Andrew, Hi, the English Choice Guide Service. John, I've been saying, I've been bragging about you a little bit. You know the lake's like the back of your hand. Tell us what we're going to do today. What do we can expect? Okay, Larry, we've got two ice houses set up for you. We're in a bay right here, as you can see behind us. It's a big, shallow, two, three foot bay. It comes all weeds, it comes right out where these shacks are and drops off. You're going to see with our underwater cameras today, you'll see the bluegill swimming, maybe some pike, some walleye. We'll see the occasional largemouth bass going by, and we're going to catch a little bit of everything. I'll put a couple tip-ups out for the bigger pike with bigger shiners. Well, you can see him just trying to hit it, just touching it. There we go. That time he inhaled it. Well, you can see, the, you jig it, you jig it, you jig it, and you brings them in, and they kind of look at it. Now then the next step is to entice them to the closing part of the deal. Right, right, right. Getting them to take it. The way we vibrate it and then let it touch the bottom. Kick uh, up a little silt okay. and then vibrate it in the silt. They think it's a bug or a shrimp trying to swim out of the silt. Understanding that comes from the camera. Using that camera, the technology to help us is incredibly important. You know what, John? I just tried your technique out. <laughs> I dropped this one all the way down to the bottom and let it let it hit the bottom and the silt. You can just see the little puff of silt just, just a little come bit. up around it. Mm -hmm. That fish came right down and it didn't sniff it at all. It just went right after that jig. So probably five or six other techniques that we employ. Now I teach all my clients this as we go. And hitting the silt is one vibration. How do we vibrate it? What I like to do is physically vibrate that jig. A lot of people say, oh, my wrist is so tired. I've been doing this all morning and I'm catching fish, but my wrist is tired. Well, we learned this years ago. Now, instead of vibrating with our wrist and the tip of the pole, now we're gonna tap the pole. Now, when you do that, you're not only getting the vibration, but you're getting a thumping sound, which you don't get when you just vibrate. Well, we're going to take a break from our jigging technique and do a little bit of tip-up fishing. We're going to set some tip-ups, see what we can catch there. The reason I chose this area to drill holes for pike is because we're more actually on the slope of the drop-off. Okay, so this is a big fat, flat bay here, mm -hmm. weeds. All two, three feet in there. Okay, it starts to come down. You're going to catch it right on about 15 the... feet. We're going to set up here six, seven feet. Now this was cool. I saw a pike come right into the view and we've got a tip up right on the other side of the shanty right here. And I, as I was turning the camera around, I saw this pike just go nuts. And I said, John, are you sure he's not on the tip up? And sure enough, John walks out, walks around and there's a tip the flag up. So, <laughs> so he is on the tip up. All right, he's there. Okay, well, yeah, that's it. Good job, Larry, good job. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, there we go. Come here, buddy. Okay, okay. little guy. Yeah, we'll let him go, but that's a nice start. Yep. Oh, that was so cool though. It was so cool to see it on the market. <laughs> that's why we put a tip up, if you look, right next to the ice house on purpose because there's so many panfish down there, it attracts the pike. There he goes. Well, that was fun. That was neat. Right on. That one's going good. That one is really cruising. I want you to take the line, just give it a short little snap, and bring him up. Oh, we got him. There's some head shakes there. He even took some drag on us. Yes, he did. Yeah. Good job, Larry. Good job. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Oh, that's what we wanted, that's huh? That's what we wanted. <laughs> Oh, 
Right down you go, buddy. Ooh, he Pretty took cool. off. Wow, what a day. That was good, that was good. Panfish, and then we got some pike too to go with it. Yeah, so you know, no giants, but a lot of fun and a lot of fish. That's right, and you know what? I always learn something when I'm fishing with this guy, and you will too if you come up and, and fish with him. I want to thank White Birch Village Resort for having us overnight. John and Sue, you put us up, terrific. But how can people get a hold of you, John? Uh, go ahead and contact me at 715-892-3020. Or they can always go onto your website? My website is theanglerschoiceguideservice.com. Now, that's theanglerschoiceguideservice.com. I guarantee you'll catch fish, you'll have a good time, and you'll learn something. I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. I want to thank you, buddy. Thanks. That was it's a lot of fun. Always a pleasure. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back, Midwest Outdoors, and I'll catch you later.